from Miami. I was in here brushing my teeth and was like, I have not talked to my friend since Tuesday. I vlogged a little bit yesterday, but I ain't really, it wasn't really like that. Can y'all see me? I know I ask that a lot, but I truly don't be knowing until I actually go to edit. I'd be like, oh, they can see me. This is day two. We got here at 11 something yesterday. I went to Joe and Juice. It was, oh, Joe and the Juice. It was absolutely amazing. I haven't actually shown y'all a room tour or anything like that. We're staying at Fontaine Blue, Fountain Blue. I don't know how you pronounce it. I always say Fontaine Blue. I could be wrong. Let me wash my face real quick. I bet, clean face. Anyways, Fontaine Blue, Fountain Blue, whatever it is. So, I don't know if y'all can kind of see the aesthetics around here. This is a boob light without the nipple. Aesthetic wise, for me, I like the hotel to look like my house or better. Not saying that my house is all that or anything, but to me, it's like if you're gonna put yourself up in a hotel somewhere to be comfortable, you need to be the same amount of, have the same amount of comfort that you have at home. And I don't wanna go stay somewhere raggedy if I don't live in a raggedy house. Or if I do live in a raggedy house, I wanna go stay somewhere that's better than my house. So that's why I said same or better. Hotel, you can tell it's definitely like a party hotel because it's ass everywhere. I'm just being 100% honest, but it's also Miami. So you should expect that regardless of where you go in Miami. Anybody who's ever stayed here before, y'all already know, this hotel is massive. So the hotels, like the rooms are very spacious. I'll show y'all in just a minute. They're super spacious, but they're not, they can do a better job with the upkeep. This is not a place of realization. This is a party hotel, okay? So when you go down to the pool, you're gonna get music every which way that you turn. But the drinks, at the whole at the pool bar from scratch. They're not using mixer and stuff like that. Where where is the light? I don't know where nothing is in here. Child, it was Where are the freaking lights? I don't know where anything is in here. I guess you're just supposed to use natural light, child. This is pretty much what the room looks like. Immediately when you walk in you have your closet right here and then your bed. There's like a seating area over here. This is not a functional closet. It actually has like a small little kitchenette thingy right here, which I was not aware would be in here. The desk is probably the only thing nice that I like. It looks like it's a desk from CB2. Um, and then we have a bay view. Show this in a previous clip. Over here is like where the bathroom and stuff is. You have like your little bar area, overpriced snacks and alcohol. Look at the shower. Girl, whatever position you want to be in when you get in the shower, know it before you get in because you ain't no turning around and everything like that. That was an exaggeration, but still. And it just has like a little vanity right there. There's nothing behind the door. Um, Y'all see the decor is like very lackluster. Like. But the positive is that it has a full length mirror. So anyways, let me reel this in because I have a bad habit of editing out sometimes because I don't like to hear myself talk. I try my best to vlog better the rest of the trip. Yesterday, I was just like, honestly over it because I was tired and hungry. Didn't really do much. We were supposed to go to dinner last night, but we were just like, let's order room service. Room service is terrible. I got a Caesar salad and probably had five pieces of lettuce. And then I added, for $18 more, I added a piece of salmon. The, the salad was already like, what, $16 or maybe 20 I don't know. But the salmon was good, but it wasn't flavorful at all. Like today, we are going to, we're gonna go to Nobu tonight for dinner, which our reservation is nine till nine. I'm hoping that this is good. I'm hoping that the drinks are good. Food and drinks, listen, will make or break me and my husband's vacation. So I pray to God everywhere we eat is good. We're also gonna go to Wynwood. Um, we like to go to a brewery down there. And then I wanna say it's called Miami District. But we just want to go look, do a little bit of shopping. I'm not trying to do damage. I just want to see what they got. <laughs> my husband was like, when you go in stores like that, you always say you're not going to buy nothing. Then we get in there and you buy something. At least he knows me. So that's what today's plans are. So when he gets back from the gym, you already know he goes to the gym whenever he's on vacation. I, on the other hand, <laughs> Is that on? Mm -mm. Oh, come on. All right, come on. Hi, right. <laughs> hey guys. Welcome back. Yeah. 
it's the husband on the camera today. Um, I don't typically vlog or whatever you call this, um, but I decided to make an appearance because, um, you know, we're on vacation. So we're about to go to the pool, have a good day today. Um, Ms. Jackson, Ms. Jackson has some plans scheduled for us, so. Why are you talking like that? I feel like I'm in an interview. Right, but why you, first of all, you so close to your face, okay. in your nose. Second of all, you talking like Jeez. you on a call with one um, of We have plans for today. Please stop doing that. <laughs> Man, we got plans for today. I don't know what this girl got planned. And we're going to have a good time I and loose stuff. Girl, this can't go on there. <laughs> Friends, it's scorching hot out here. It's nice. <laughs> so there's literally a pool like right there. We just ordered um, gimlet. Gimlet. It's a gimlet. It has gin. What else is in here? Um, simple syrup and lemon. Yeah, I heard that. I forgot to tell y'all, these lashes are pressed on lashes. Can y'all tell? I might have just like that, so it's okay. But it's hot. I know y'all looking me sweating and looking parched. Y'all like my bathing suit? So this is the top I bought whenever we were getting ready to go to Mexico. And they sent me the wrong one. It fits now, but I'm not very sweet. Anyways, we're just gonna sit out here by the pool. I'll show y'all a little of the area. I just ordered a shrimp pokey with fries and a salad. I actually came with either or, but I was like, let me just be healthy and get the salad. So I ordered the salad, and I was like, can I add a side of fries for that? <laughs> Thank you. I can't see out of here. I feel like I'm gonna go back home. Three. Can it be any hotter than this? Shit. I don't like to just 85. Not him turning it down. in the heat. Oh, 
friends. Y'all, Nobu was so freaking good. Everything was so fresh. I'm nervous to try the one in Atlanta though because I don't feel like it's gonna taste the same. But it was best and best. And we gonna try to see how we get to the hotel room, okay? Back. Friends, I was stuck vlogging this trip. The vlog is gonna be ass cakes. I wanna show y'all these, uh, uh, what you call them? Where the rest of it? Okay. These, ooh, 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 come back to no glue. You know, I was telling y'all on the last vlog that my face, my eyes get swollen because I have to use this stuff right here. This is the lash purify stuff that I use to take my, the lash glue off. Totally messes up my eyes. But this is what it looks like so far. Um, this is what I've been wearing the entire trip. Y'all see that? I don't have, it's not finished yet. Ooh, my face looks weird. I don't like that. Ooh, there you go. Yeah, that's it right there. Let me show y'all my outfit real quick. Hold on, let me finish putting my lashes on and show y'all. This is the outfit. The shoes are Zara. The pants are H&M. The bathing suit is Zara. The earrings are Zara. Sorry, I just ate a Snicker bar and my mouth is still <laughs> watering. And then I have my little money bag, which I think looks so cute. This part right here ties in well. It's going to make for a beautiful photo op. Nikki Beach. Hot as hell. <laughs> yeah. Up Wait, we're ride sharing? Wait, I thought that was her. No, that's not it. Anyways, <laughs> I was about to say, I don't understand. Anyways, Nikki Beach was fun, but it's just too damn hot. It gets too hot, y'all. So, I probably will never come back here. Um, um, during the summer, because it's just way too hot. But it was a really nice vibe. The food was really good. The whatever drink that is that comes in a coconut, girl, it tastes like carrot cake. It tastes like fall. It's the best coconut drink I've ever had. Cause normally the coconut drinks be like coconut mixed with rum or something, but this one had like all spice or something in it. Anyways, um, I don't know if I would've actually enjoyed having a cabana here. Mainly because we can get the same vibe at our hotel that we can get here. And it's just hot, if I'm being 100% honest. But they do have fans and stuff like that, but it's hot in the store. We'll talk more whenever we get to the West Main. I'm trying to find our Uber. I got a slight headache, but I got some cute pictures, hopefully. As you know, he took them, I ain't taking myself. And I'm breaking out, bruh. Look at that, something bit me, had to. This head scarf, too hot. So when y'all see females and stuff like this at the beach and stuff like that in the summertime, they're a fraud. No one no one walks around like this. My edges are melting. Where? <laughs> 
Baby Vaki waited the beach, the beach. But I'm out here on holiday. And they actually, look at that. They've evacuated the pool area and everything because they say a storms are coming. But we were like, shit's passing. So here we are at the beach. My ears just look a mess. Please ignore, Act like you don't see them. Let's put that over there. Oh, okay. Well, there's that. I hope I don't drop my whatever. My husband drinking my drink. Anyway, y'all. Supposed to be going to dinner tonight, but don't know. The water is not blue. Look at him. He always over there making friends. Why is you drinking my drink and talking to strangers, sir? getting ready to go to the airport i don't know why we choose the early flights because they're the cheapest <laughs> so yeah we um i'm taking a nap hopefully my kids let me take a nap move your forces this is my airport outfit for some reason i feel like my camera is not it's these uh from h and it's like the matching pants and the matching top and I have my sweater shirt over it, which looks absolutely obnoxious. And then my edges are still not done. Anyway, it's too early. Good day. Hey, friends. My head looks a mess. Anyways, I was planning on not coming to talk to y'all until after I had a chance to look at all the footage from the vlog. Hold on. Much better. Y'all see the stand I got? Jesus Christ and ever. But anyways, I came back to some bullshit at work, so I haven't had a chance to actually look at it. Anyhow, I am not a fan of Fontaine Blue. I probably, I wouldn't say never, but it wouldn't be my first choice. The food is horrible. The drinks at Fontaine Blue, top tier. They were amazing. It didn't matter if we were at the bar. It didn't matter if we were poolside. The drinks were good and they were strong. Um, in terms of cleanliness, our room, it was just very lackluster to me. Our toilet was dirty. We asked somebody to come up and clean it. They never showed up. It's right off the beach, literally just right there. So you can switch between the pool and the beach. So I like that. The first place we went was um, Nobu. It's Nobu and in Miami, when I tell y'all that food was so good, I tried yellowtail for the per first time and it was so good. So now my expectations for yellowtail is so high. So good, so fresh. The drinks were amazing. The ambiance was everything. I love that. The other place we went was Nikki Beach. It was not what I expected. Gonna walk down to the beach. It's not like on, on the actual beach where the water is, if that makes sense. It's still saying it's still part of the beach. It's just kind of like closed off from it. So you're more connected to the restaurant portion. So you have the portion where you're sitting down at the tables eating and then you kind of like walk down and you're where all of like the cabanas and day beds and stuff like that are. But still very nice, they had fans and stuff. But when I tell y'all it's so freaking hot, like we were sweating the entire time. They turned one of the fans directly on us, it was fine. Once you really get into like drinking and eating, you're not really paying, atten paying attention to the, the heat, but Overall, Miami in the summertime is just a no-go for me. Like, I don't think I would book to go in Miami during the summertime because it's just too hot. Like, it's way too hot. Like, humid hot. So, it's nice to be able to just, like, get away. Like I said, girl, summertime ain't it. Anyways, I'm about to get on the call. Peace out.